taken us on the road. <laughs> Literally all around the country. Yeah, we've been traveling since we graduated. We converted a van right after graduation. It took us about five months as we worked full-time jobs. Um, so we, we worked during the day, saved the money, and converted the van on nights and weekends. I think the inspiration for it at least started when we when we backpacked Southeast Asia. We took a, a leave of absence from school for a year and we went and backpacked Southeast Asia together and I think we really fell in love with the nomadic lifestyle and it really suited us. Where are we? The van life community, it just seemed like such a perfect fit and I pretty much, I sent him a picture of a converted van and I said, we need to do this and he said, okay. We bought the van for $4,500. The conversion itself with everything was $5,500 about. So we were looking at about $11,000. I feel like anybody who didn't know you in Dodgeville already knows you now. Running. <laughs> <laughs> We actually have a pretty modest solar setup. We have two 100 watt solar panels on the top and then a 160 amp hour battery that stores all of it. The things that are run off of the battery are the lights. We have a fan vent right there and then our refrigerator. So we're completely off grid. It's cool also to have less of a carbon footprint that we want to be as minimal as possible. Yeah. You know, everyone said, how are you going to make a living? Is this going to be possible? And we're like, yeah. We don't have an exact plan, but I think the motivation comes because you don't have the plan. Yeah. And I think the motivation comes because you have to make it work. And if you yeah. don't, then you're giving up something that you dreamed of doing. We're 100% using all the all of our education, all the tools that we learned at UW Eau Claire in what we're doing today, and it's what's helped us become so successful. I think. I was connected with a lot of like-minded people and a lot of really motivated people, and through the entrepreneurship department, through the marketing department, through BUS, through other organizations. I think there's such a great community of people and there's such um, a desire to be more than what we all kind of just see life after college to be. During my senior year and stuff, we did a lot of projects where we were actually working with real businesses within the community and stuff like that. And I think I definitely got the most value out of those kind of experiences because it's kind of like what we're doing now. It's, it's taking everything we learned and putting it into motion. So I, I was really grateful for those type of experiences during our education. Claire in general had that, that beautiful outdoorsy feel and that nice campus and um, something about it. I just felt with the river running through and the bridge, it just felt right to me and the town itself felt nice. It's big but it's small and I, I feel like it's, for me at least, it was perfect. It yeah. was perfect in the way that I could meet a new friend every day but I still was in smaller classes and could really focus on education too and not just swimming through a sea of people. I think one of the most memorable experiences at UW Eau Claire was um, meeting Pete. Because, I know, because had we not met there at UW Eau Claire, had we not both gone there, we wouldn't be here right now. In life, like, just the journey never ends no matter what you're doing. So it's like, no matter what, it's just, that's the journey, it's always the road, you know?